Well, hello my crafty friends, it's Krista here from Second Chance Creation. Um, I'm here to share with you Found in the Ashes, and it's a story about a girl by the name of April. But before I do that, I'll show you what I use for texture, because you're not going to believe it. I've uh, found a set of three little suitcases in the local op shop, and... The um, larger one I have on the table here, it's up like this and I put my stamps, I've got a little tray there and I've got my stamps and inks and dobbers and everything in, so that sort of sits against there. And then this is the medium size, which goes in, and then the smaller size that went in here. And the smaller size is the one that I used to make this project. Um, I was going to use this one, but because it was broken and it would have been a bigger journal, it would have been just too, too, too ginormous. So um, that'll probably go on my desk as well. And I'll put some shelves in it and, um, you know, maybe put some bits and bobs in just to organise myself. And what I did was, um, because I'm not that way inclined as in, like, mixed media where you build up with maybe paste or um, gesso and um, get the different textures unless I use fabrics which I use most of the time I happened to go stroll through the garden there's a little story now um, and we have like a post and row fence in the front of the house the front yard and it grows like a fungi on the posts and as I was having my cup of tea and I put my hand on, I thought, oh, this, feel, this feels nice. And so I started peeling it off. Okay, so that was about two months ago. And, and this is what it looks like. Okay. And of course, as it gets older, it gets more brittle. What I say by brittle, it sort of shrivels up and dries. This is a fresh piece that I had to cut. Um, peel off so that you could see what I used. I'm just going to have a look, make sure I've got it on camera and so you can see. But do you see all the different texture that's on this? Okay. And that's what I used on top of the suitcase to make it look burnt. I told you you wouldn't believe me. All right. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, there it is. There it is. And that's what I used. I broke pieces off and just glued them down to make it look as though it's been singed by the fire. Okay. I mean, how how cool is that? And I and I really wasn't sure how it would turn out, but I wanted something to make it look as though it was singed because it was hidden away between two walls of the house. And um, yeah, so that's <laughs> that's the result of it. So I gessoed this and I put um, black acrylic paint in the gesso to make it grey to cover this because I didn't want to put white on it because it's going to take you know god knows how many coats to get rid of it so yes I used grey gesso to um, cover this a couple of coats and um, so that's what I did and on the inside of course as you'll see I've lined it with some very um, grungy paper and some packing paper and then what I did was I had brown hessian or burlap um, covered that and I mod podged it on then I put various bits of paint the black paint and also then the grey paint the grey the grey um, gesso over the top of this so it's pretty well sealed you can't peel it off um, I wanted to have a little bit of the brown come through, just a tad. Let me see if I can bring that up a bit. Okay. 
and this represents it's been knocked around and, it's, and the suitcase been patched up okay all around and I did a bit of color as well some of the acrylic that I used was like a blue and I've just dobbed it on there just to give it diff different colors I suppose from you know from the fire from the flames but this I just love how this turned out and yeah you won't get that off unless you use a hammer and chisel I suppose and I didn't really know what to do much with the metal things so I've tried to paint them and I've put uh, wrapped the edge of the burlap around the handle and done the same I rusted some jewelry quite a while ago and that's what I put on I couldn't do anything with this clip without taking it off and put something else on so it looks a little bit you know it looks a bit shiny but I've left a little bit of shiny bits in here so it won't look out of place so yes and then you've got the bottom here okay so yes so that's that's the burnt suitcase found in the ashes and the story goes that April put all her memories in this um, suitcase all her family photos um, friends photos she's had a couple of she ha also has a couple of brothers and a mum and dad and grandparents and of course when she and she hid it in the house that she lived in um, and when she grew up she left to experience life and of course then she heard that the fire there was a fire at this house and she realized it was her the house that she used to live in in the meantime the parents have moved out and new people and she this was hidden in a wall no one knew about it so she um, packed a bag and traveled over and um, spoke to the people of the house and said that she grew up in this house and if maybe she can walk through it because she's hidden something and she was hoping that um, it hadn't been burnt. And the people were so nice and kind. They said, of course, April, what are you looking for? She said, I'll show you when I find it. So, of course, she found the case and with the fire, the walls um, separated and that's why it got burnt around the edges. But... To her, um, you know, amazement and relief, she found her little suitcase with um, all her little bits of memory inside. So are you ready to go inside? Are you ready? Okay. So I did get a little bit burned inside, as you can see. She's covered it with a cloth when she packed it. And it got a little bit dark, must be the ashes. And whoever purchased this, and you find there's black stuff, it's actually chalk. So what I did was I grated some chalk in there to make it look like that when you pick it up, it's actually from ashes, so that you get sort of the feel of the story yourself. This is um, was packaging paper I had for about a couple of years now. And I thought, how cool was that? And I just scrunched it up stitched around it and glued it and then just went over with um, the chalk black chalk and you're not going to believe this because when I went to a local op shop who is and unfortunately it's closing I found another one of these and I had one of these and I've used nearly all the chalks and this is what I used when I started my journals to do all the um, color blending on the edges and now I have another one only cost me two dollars and because I just can't afford to buy any ink at the moment so I was really relieved and that's what I used okay so um, I've painted all this as well with the um, the gesso and the gray paint as you can see and look I've made it so that it does look as though it's all sort of you know from the fire it's been singed and you know, it's got to look like that, doesn't it? All right, and I've just put my little label in there. And look, it's got singed as well. And I might have to just glue that on. All right, let's have a look. So this is the cloth. OK. 
okay which is just a piece of muslin I think and of course the journal now it got a little bit fire singed from the heat I suppose um, this doily is from her grandmother and she made this little journal from buttons from her grandmother's little sewing stash and she just wrapped it with twine because she didn't couldn't find anything else so she just knotted up this twine and wrapped that around it okay there's a little pocket here and here's one of her little uh, memorabilia of little journal she had a bit of cardboard and she just made up a bit of cardboard there and there's a little group picture of all her friends and there's some photos in there could they be the brothers could they be you know a couple of boys she took liking to I don't know here's a wedding photo could that be hers no she wasn't quite that old maybe a friend's photo another it could be grandparents or her parents could be an auntie so yes yeah, so one just doesn't know all I know is that little April well she's not little anymore she's all grown up now um, you know put this together in the hope to keep it for the rest of her life until she had to move maybe she forgot about it and the cover was from a book that I had it was a linen cloth and I was going to use that as a cover but it just didn't suit and um, but it was a perfect size to fit in the suitcase okay so the first thing we'll see is my eco dark papers that I've made some last year you might remember my first attempt and what a great way to put it in here to make it look as though the heat got to the paper the heat got to the photo and there is April when she was a baby and these are some music notes maybe it was a um, song that was sung to her when she was a baby but she's popped that in there and that's probably a little snippet of the dress she had on they, some of these papers they're really grunged up are actually from, I bought a pack from um, Witchcraft Do You Do from Kerry, I'll leave a link in the description box. And um, they were really dark, and I've, when she put them in a shop, I thought, oh, they're beautiful, I, I've got to have some, you know, so, you know, supporting the local shop. So here we are, and photo. Could this maybe be an auntie or a mother, but I think it might be her mum in the later years and with the brothers. I have no idea. And I think this is the one, yes, you can actually take this photo out and put one of your own in if you wish. Okay. Made that into a tag. This pocket is made from um, my Franken paper that I made and... Um, because I had a set left in the shop and I actually took it out to use for myself. And that's what that is. And I popped on a film slide. That's actually an accident, but it came out so cool. I thought, oh, I'm going to use that. Um, I used, because the photo wasn't in there, um, it had um, Chinese writing around it. And I do believe this is still one from Bonnie, from, from Bonnie and Clive. I'll leave her link in the description box below as well. Hi, Bonnie. And um, I used some black ink from my ink pad and just dobbed it on there and then used a um, baby wipe, wipe and dobbed it on there. And that's the reaction of it. I mean, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I'll just see if I can show you there. Doesn't that? That looks pretty cool okay can you see this making sure i can see you can see this okay and of course um you know the boys might have written letters 
Well, she might have written letters and I can't be because she was pretty young. And you can untie this and you can write in here. It's a little, um, one of my little envelopes. So, and I've just popped a tie on it, glued on it, and you can actually um, write in that. So, yeah, so that's a postcard. That's a card photo there. And that's an original photo from somewhere. Um, there's lots of journaling space in here. It has four signatures. I can't remember how many pages, but it'll all be in my Etsy store. Here's a little postcard. She must have collected postcards about flowers. And um, some more writing papers. Here is an original piece of ephemera. Um, she must have collected that for one reason or another. Okay. So it's quite old. It's gifted to me by someone. These are all my rusty safety pin. Now, I don't know whether they had safety pin in her day, but I've popped them in there anyway. It's a little fabric flip. Just made a little scrappy little notepad. And here is a little um, floating pocket. And it has a piece of... Oh, look, I can never... Uh, what's it, the name? Is it Piol, Piol, Pinola paper or something like Anyway, also from um, Witchcraft Do You Do? Because it was part of the grunge set. And I just did a bit of stamping there. And this was a um, free printable from, I think I got this from Pinterest. I've had this for a couple of years. This little um, envelope style pocket finger. So I finally decided to use it. Maybe she loved flowers. April might have loved flowers. You know, the, the heat of the, the fire must have singed some of these. And same with this. She loved music as well. And um, she no, knew a boy in a time that loved music. And there he is. Of course, it's a Tim Holt paper doll. Um, and I made a little tag. I said I made a little tag, yes. Out of an old, um, very old music book. And the cover was all perished. But I managed to save part of it with the original sticky tape. All right, and I just glued it onto this um, piece of cardstock, and I've just made, and that's the same. It's part of the cover. Uh, that was part of um, the uh, another music book, I think. And there you can see the writing of the cover, and I've just made that into a little floating tag. Now this is an original piece, and. Very, very original that someone um, showed me, but look how it got tattered with the fires. It has a little, um, what's this in there? From her mother. So a little note from her mother. So I'm not going to share that because it's a little surprise, okay? This might be her grandmother. All right, made a little tag here. I do believe this is from um, Taylor Made Journals. This is a sticker. Here's one of my tabs and one of my um, stamps as well. You know, I didn't put anything in the middle. I didn't put any beads or anything. They might have got singed in the fire. A little bit of stamping here and there to make it look as though, you know, she was starting to write something in there. This is, has a, a few original ephemera pieces. It's a really old... Um, label or tag with um, original piece of paper in there, a note. Here I've made like a little index card with another photo. Someone must have sent a photo to her. Again, I think you can take this one out and put your own photo in. Okay. And I do believe, I think um, it was, I think it's on the back Museum from Paris, I think it is. I don't know whether she's been to Paris or not. Okay. 
this might be, I do believe this might be one of her brothers. She's in the Air Force. Um, here she, uh, is that her? No, it might be a friend. And um, her friend, they used to go out in the gardens. And there's a little summer house here. This is a little film strip. Also part of, um, from Bonnie, from Bonnie and Clive. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little garden house in there. Okay. So they always used to meet at a Pacific time. And they used to go and swing and have a bit of fun. A bit of a, my, my uh, clusters, paper clusters. And here's probably another brother who loved birds, so I used some of my stems. And um, they are all glued onto my Franken paper that I made into a tag. It just pops in here. So she's got a lot of memorabilia. Some of it got pretty well singed in the fire, but a lot of it was saved, which is good because she had it in this case. Here's one of my envelopes that I made out of the um, Woolworths paper bags quite a while ago. Decoupaged it with a napkin, popped on a stamp. Did a little button cluster as a closure and then ma and made a matching index card to go with it. So maybe she was going to be writing to someone and never got a chance to do that. This is an original piece that someone sent me in a happy mail of a list of something. Okay, I just thought it looked so cool with that handwriting. And my Ecodote papers. I mean, really? Wow. That is a um, leaf of a rose, okay? Just looked as though it got singed in the fire. So here is another one of my Franken papers that I made a pocket out of. And I've just popped in a couple of girls. April was maybe a bit older there or something, and she learned to drive. She got the best offer, and this is a postcard. I mean, how cool is that to buy a little car here? And it, you know, it looked as though it got a bit singed there. Bit of stamping. Lots of various papers. And here is her parents. See, there is April and her two brothers. They're her parents. On the 10th of November, they got the news. They opened their business called Goldsmith and Silversmith Company. How exciting. And they've got some survey papers that they have to fill out um, for the, for the um, land, I think. They're going to have their business on. And this is an original piece. can't remember who gifted this to me. Okay. And that just goes back in here. So yes, yeah, so they, they were very excited. And I just, this here, I just took that out of a um, magazine. And I thought, oh, that's a, I could use that for a date or something. So over a period of time, I've put things together to make this journal. Just love that, how that turned out. And we get to the end. So she's collected quite a few things. Here's another little booklet. wonder what's in here. Oh, look at that. Her brothers might have grown up there. They're a bit older there. Okay. It got singed by the look of it. Bit of stamping. It's just a little booklet. She hasn't used much of it by the look of it. Oh yes, there she is. Look, there's a photo there. Might be an auntie. Might be a friend. Hmm. And that just tucks here. And there she is there when she had to move out of the house. Okay. Isn't that cool? And I've made it look as though it's, you know, got a bit bruised and battered. And this is part of the paper that I used to make it look really old. And here is a piece of, an original piece of envelope. See? It was part of the happy mail that was sent to me. And I've just kept that. Uh, 1925, maybe, I don't know. New South Wales. Bonobo, 
and I've just popped that in there. She might have kept it for some reason or another. So yeah, so she's put quite a few things in here. But at least it's in one piece, so she's really happy, happy about that. Just gonna make sure that this is oh. okay. So what else can we find in this suitcase? Oh, look, another little notebook. Family. Wow, a little girl, her brothers, might be an auntie, might be grandparents. These photos I've got out of magazines. Um, oh, I can't remember which one it was, but I kept all the sort of the pictures that look really old. And this is from a newspaper. Uh, this was from a um, paper pack. And look, she's put some little bits and bobs. She's put in here that maybe, you know, someone loved to sew. And there's a little envelope in here that flips out. And this is made from a tapestry book. I cut that out. And that just pops in here. There's a bit of fabric here that she's put in here. And look, did she have a little rocking horse at, when she was little? Maybe. Maybe. This is also from Taylor Mate Journals. I think these are all from Taylor Mate journals, these photos. But look, who could that be? You know? Who could that be? There you go. And there she is, you know, showing off a new dress. She's got someone sewed her a new dress and there's a bit of lace here. Could that be her father? See? It's all got a little bit burnt from the fire. And all that is, I just scrunched it, wet the paper, scrunched it up, dried it, and then just rubbed over with some um, ink. I think that was walnut, and then I used my black ink pack and just, yeah, wiped over it. And, of course, this here has a little false bottom. And this was sent to me. It was part of a prize, I think, and... Um, and I took it apart because I wanted the envelope. And, you know, there might be a ladder in that or something. But, yeah, so I thought, oh, yeah, that'll do. It looks pretty cool. So she must have kept that for one reason or another. And that just fits back under here. So as you can see, I've lined it with some really dark, heavy coffee dyed paper. And, again, I scrunched it up. And then just went around with the ink pad after I glued it to get that effect. Okay. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not sure if I should show you everything in this tin. She had a little rusty tin. And actually, uh, this rusty tin came from a local shop here in Warrielda. And it's a fella that sells a lot of old stuff. And he had a lot of cigarette tins, but they're all new looked new and I said to him well, I don't suppose you come across real old rusty ones do you and I've had this for about three months now he said um, as a matter of fact I do I just chuck one in the box I said really so he sh I said oh wow well, how much do you want for oh you can have it well it just perfect to what I wanted it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a little bit because the mystery in this is that you know um You'll have to discover it. So inside I've made it look as though it's been burnt. Okay, from the heat. A couple of more photos. Who could that be? Could that be April? I don't know. Very old piece of paper. She's also collected a snippet of a doily of some sort. And she's popped the key in called memory. At least the key didn't get burnt. The locket might have. It got a bit singed, I think. It's, it's all rusty. Okay. And she's got a little bit of twine that she's put on there. I wonder what's in there. Look at that. Who could that be? I have no idea. Could it be an auntie? Could it be herself? Could this be a brother or a friend or a lover? 
the imagination can grow. And in here she's put in, you know, there's a coin, a bit of sewing stuff, some vintage buttons, a little brooch pendant that may be from a relative, a coin of some sort. So I won't go through that because, you know, you might want to do that yourself. So this is the little tin that was in there as well. And to find that tin was a real fluke, I can tell you. I'll just put that all together. I think I should have wound it around another bit, another, another, what's here? You know, just to keep it closed. So, I hope you like, you enjoyed the story of April and the journal. You know, it's a great little journal just to keep, you know, on your dresser, on the sideboard, on a table that you can use and just have it open like that. And you might want to use your own bits and bobs to put in there. We'll put this back to protect it. I promise there won't be any too much chalk shavings in there for you to worry about when you open it up. <laughs> and then just close it back up. This little suitcase, all the measurements and that will be in the in the description box. Uh, in my Etsy store, it's six inches, which is like fifteen centimeters, and it's uh, just on twenty, which it equates to about eight eight and a quarter. And, you know, you can take it wherever you need to take it to. Keep it for yourself or use it as a little display. So, see, I haven't got any black soot on me. <laughs> okay. So, I hope you enjoyed the journey of April. And um, I hope you're as happy as I am that she's found a suitcase with all the memories in it. All right, folks, I think I have one more video to do but I won't do that today um, I think I'm doing a shabby chic d stash box so um, yeah so this will be listed in my Etsy store as well so never underestimate what you can find in your garden bye for now